Hello everybody, welcome to an episode of Boundary Break. Today we are taking a look at Colm Arkin. This is the Unreal Engine version 426. This is the Unreal Engine version 426 version of the game. I said version way too many times there. Um, this, this is Arkin Depot. We're currently flying around. Um, I have no mods on. This is pure vanilla, so you're not going to see any of the passenger information screens on at all. Whereas if I had the mod and did it on the 423 version, the previous version, you would have seen passenger information screens. So the line there it just cuts through some houses. Thing. Bow back here, you've got houses and trees and hills and stuff. Now let's go over to Arken. Which, fun bit of useless information for you. Arken. Oh, wait a minute, I can't take screenshots. Dear. Oh, right, okay, it's okay, I've got some anyway. So, this is Arken. Have to ban off. It's a through terminus station. Oh, wait a minute, actually, I can't take screenshots. I can't remember what it was now, I think it's shift and F10. Control and F10. Oh no, wait a minute, I can't take screenshots when I'm flying around in camera. My bad. So yeah, that's Ark and Have to Ban Off. The church bells are ringing. This is, this is Arken. We'll get ourselves back onto the railway line. Another church there, but no bells ringing in that church. So, I hope everybody's enjoying um, NEC Boston Sprinter. I haven't yet had chance to to purchase it. I must say, I love it. Short of cash, I haven't really had chance to purchase a season pass yet, but I will be buying it very, very soon, and I'll be doing a video on that, and possibly a boundary break as well. Depends on my schedule whether I'm going to do boundary break or not. But I do hope everybody's enjoying it. Please let me know what it's like. Actually, I'll probably, I'll probably already watch the video or two anyway. But yeah, it does look very, very, very good. I'm very excited to play it. We are at Islandorf Railway Station. I'm again. I'm going to try and get through this not too quick, but I don't want to sit here and bore you by it taking me half an hour to get through it when literally it's just most of the scenery is is the same. If I see something interesting, I'm probably going to do what I did when I went to Mon when, when we was on a Munchen Augsburg route, like when we found that bench underneath the lake. I wonder if we're going to find some more benches underneath lakes. So yeah, that's just that bit there. This route seems to be more like forest based than the other one than, than the other ones are, apart from Arosa. I mean Arosa, I, I I know I slate Arosa, but I actually bought Arosa and I actually quite like it. I mean it'd be better Stolberg. And actually, and actually yeah, I, I, know, I know I'm isolated, but actually, if I had more trees, it'd be fantastic. It really is. It is, um, it's a fantastic room. It really is. The rolling stock, the sounds, I just don't get about people slated. This is why I, I've stopped listening to, to people when it comes to roots. I'm just going to make my own mind up. I'm going to watch the streams, and if I like them, then I'm going to buy them from there on out from now on that railway track I don't know where that track goes that track seems to disappear off into the distance over there we've got another tunnel I mean we all know what the tunnels look like so we're just going to jump straight over them oh, there was a car parked in the drive there and another car parked there a bin they're probably like little prefab units and they've just got on the other trees later on a lot of these a lot of the houses and stuff here 
I like prefab units where they've got gone into UE4 and they've like meshed them into one blue. The pot is probably this is probably single, but they probably made them blueprints. It's just easy to place them down, and they're gonna end them on the fly. Because that's what I do uh, with with my game. I shall I have to run off. I'll, I'll make blueprints of houses and stuff. So when I have to individually build them, if I need the house, I can just drag and drop it in. Especially if the houses, especially if the houses, are, uh, especially when a lot of the houses are quite uh, similar, like on here, just click as to use a blueprint. Now this probably is this again, so it's probably another blueprint as well. We're not quite yet onto the onto the high speed section of the line. terrain. Not that not you'll be able to see it anyway. We've got some windmills. I don't think you'll be able to see that hole in the world. Oh, yes you can. Hole in the terrain. I think this is where normally we're like going putering. Putering where we're going, which like gazillion billion miles per hour down it. I know I just went gazillion billion miles per hour down it then because there's again I'm trying not to make these videos too long. Another example of um the lake where they use like a reflection make it look like um a lake but it's actually not. It's because it saves on memory, especially when they put these out on last generation consoles. I mean, if you want to get, if I mean, if you want to get into next gen and you can't really afford like the, like the Series X or PS5, better than not in stock anyway. Argos, I've always got plenty of Xbox Series S's in stock. They've got a lot of them, and I, I, I went out and bought one of the week. So now that would make an absolute fantastic screenshot. Let's print screen. Instead, <laughs> and now we are at. I'm going to say Juran. Juran. And they even have the little turntable. I wonder. Yeah, I don't actually think this turntable. Will, no, it hasn't got the functions. But there's an old turntable, so that's where the railway line must have been. And then it offshoots round the corner, round to there. So I've never, been to some, I've never actually been to some of these railway stations because I haven't completed the journey mode for this route yet, which I think I should start doing soon. 
As soon as I've got through Isle of Wight, I'm onto Sandpatch, then I'm on to Snellacorn, um, then I'm onto this route then, and then I'm onto London Underground. I'm trying to get through the routes. That's why I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm hyped for Rush Hour, but I'm not rushing to buy it per se. The simple fact that I need to get through um, all of my routes first before I start adding more and more content. I still haven't bought Cane Creek yet. That's where they're laying a new railway line there, by the looks of it, because you've got the sleepers here. Unless they're digging one up, who knows? The sleepers look quite old. Well, then you never know. They could be in real life building a new railway there. Like a small siding there. Some more houses here. Catching up to the talent too, that's that's sure going at some speed. At least that's got the interior lights on. The one that I tried driving the other week didn't have on this version of the game. The lights didn't work. Sindorf I, the passenger light switch wouldn't work. May have to just try that again. The lakes, some lakes there. So for the screens, um doing something silly there. Station is for him. A room debut. Another bit of track that goes off there into the distance. I'm not going to follow it all the way down. we go back into the forest. Or should I say into the countryside. I don't actually know the, the frame right. Because I can't turn it on. It does seem to be significantly better. F fresh and coin next off. So this, the, the version I'm putting this on is the Epic Games version, it's not the full 426 release that has just come out. Because I recorded this video a couple of weeks before, before it, before the, <laughs> before the uh, new route came out, before Rush Out Part 1 came out. Which is standard procedure for people on YouTube. People, all YouTubers record the videos before um, that a couple, couple of days or weeks before they're, they're due out. It's standard procedure. Colin Reden West. Plus, I've got my holidays coming up, so I'm having to record videos in advance. Colin Lovenick. So, we are nearing Colin now. These. I'm trying to see if I've nope, nothing underneath there. I've never been to Germany, but it does look like a, a nice place. I do have a friend in Germany called Klaus, who I met quite a few years ago now. About seven years. Which I 
it just disappears off down there. Call Mungersdorf Technology Park. You've got like um, oil works there. A giant ball. Oh, it's been muddled inside. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. And we are now nearing Colne because I can see the tower. That you see on approaching to Colne. Colne Ehrenfeld. Track that just goes all the way down to there. There's the column sky tower with the moon platform. So you can get a good look across the column. This column cathedral or church. Because we come in this way, let's have a look at this up here. And come in this way as well. So there's quite a lot of ways you can come in. And we have a turntable. That probably works as well, but I've never actually took a train up there. So I wonder how that even all works. Because we normally come in. Not from down there. I've got lost to where we're coming from now. Oh yeah, we're coming from round here, down round and in past this lot here Korn Hansaring and this is Korn Habtubanov would have been really cool if they got the the PIS working on this for the 426 update but one can only wish that maybe when the PC collection when the PC team preserve collection team get on they'll actually get it get the piss working um, and for those who play Fernbus coach simulator this is the coach depot on Fernbus because you come right round down here and round and past the railway station and then the bridge that then goes nowhere and then we then got another railway station down here so guys once again I thank you for watching remember to comment and subscribe for those who aren't subscribed press the subscribe button I'm Yorkshire Lad and I will see you in the next one